Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Life of a Cougar and uh, our cubs are wandering it looks like they're they're quite far away right here and uh, hopefully they'll they'll not wander off too far where in the world oh Rosie's just up there I thought for a second she'd gone over the hill has she no she's right there that's Rosie is she stuck let's let's have everybody get down from there is she coming no uh oh uh, maybe we need to go up and then slide down and push her? Nope, we slid right over her. There we go. All right, there is Rosie. Okay, everybody should be good now. But yeah, welcome back. I suspect we're going to be leaving pretty soon here. Sorry, my throat decided to clog up for no apparent reason. <clears throat> there we go, that's a little better. Uh, but yeah, I think we're probably going to be leaving this den pretty soon because... As per the usual, it has been more than an episode since we arrived, and that probably means that we have a killer male uh, on his way before too long here. So I don't know how long it's going to take for that to happen, but I don't anticipate we're going to be sticking around at this den area for much longer. I am going to try to go hunt a little bit, but uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and see what's down here and be ready to leave at any given moment because uh, we don't know when he's going to show up. Now, these cubs probably are pretty close to being ready to age up. Um, I don't know when exactly it's going to happen. It's probably going to be any episode here. I'm guessing around episode 18-ish, probably. Uh, there oh, there's a wolf. Oh, no. All right, let's take this guy down. Oh, oh we got to get into targeting mode. That's what it, why it wasn't working quite right. There we go. But uh, we should be able to grab the carcass and uh, bring it up with us if it'll let me. Is it not working? And I hear more growling. I hear her growling, so I think there's more danger up ahead. And in fact, there's more wolves. Oh, that's the that's the pack leader, too. All right, did we get him? There's another one farther down. That's a fox. Okay. Well, he ran straight for us, which is not smart when you're a fox and you're facing off against a cougar. But I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm actually going to eat from the fox carcass and then we'll bring one of the wolf carcasses back just to make sure that we have enough food. Now, the reason that I'm doing this, when I, why I'm eating from a different carcass and bringing one up, is just to make sure that we have a carcass that's going to be as full as possible so that then we can head back up here and uh, we'll, we'll have as much food value left on this <laughs> as we can. So it's usually fairly safe up here. Um, this is, I think, the safest stand area, probably. Who needed to eat? Is it you? Yes. No. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys need to eat or not. I think so. All right, who else needed it? Where is Autumn? Autumn is over here. Let's go over to you. Did you need to eat? Yes, that worked out. There we go. But yeah, there's nothing that really spawns up top here. It all has to go up through that one very narrow passage, and that makes it pretty easy to guard if you just linger over here. There's not usually too many predators to chase off. You can see the sky is lightning as well, so I certainly hope that if we have to leave, it's during the daytime, because I don't fancy trying to find my way down from the mountain at night. It's a lot easier than getting up the mountain, but it's still not great. Uh, we can stand up here and <laughs> watch the sunrise. It's still still not easy to um, to get down the the mountain, but it, it's a lot better than um, oh oh here we go. It's a lot better than trying to get up and with perfect timing. <laughs> yep, here we go. I could have told you that was gonna happen. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I did. So let's head back over here. I'm gonna call everyone. We're gonna grab some food. Where is the killer male? He's all the way down at the bottom, but he's probably gonna meet us halfway up or so. Let's go ahead and... Oh, those are hairs. I was like, what are those little things? But those are the hairs we caught last time. We normally don't bother to go after them, but uh, it was kind of convenient to catch them, so we ended up doing that. But let's keep moving. It's kind of interesting. Most of them are significantly... Most of the cubs are significantly lighter in color. Autumn is the only one who really looks like Kira. The other two took more after their father. So that's kind of interesting. We'll have some variety of color. If uh, all of them survive, then we'll have, have some different different uh, 
different options of looks here for the next generation. And again, uh, I'll be giving you the chance to vote between these three cubs, assuming all of them survive, if not between any of the survivors, and the option of having Kira have another litter. So that doesn't mean that we disqualify anyone from this litter. You could vote for that option and then come back and decide you wanted to vote for one of these three. But, um... If you do want to see her have another litter and have potentially even more options, then that is also something that is possible. I'm going to stop them here, we'll let them all eat, and then we'll continue on. <laughs> I don't want uh, them getting too hungry on the way down. Now we have to be really, really careful because since there are wolves up here, that means there's probably more further down. And so we probably need to stop them as they're making their way down here to make sure that we don't have any issues with them. Uh, as we make our way down. I didn't even see what den we're going to. Okay, we're going back to the one we just came from, and unfortunately, there is a rival up there, so we need to be kind of cautious of that. Um, we just need to be careful on our way down. Usually, that's kind of the rule of thumb with everything, is just be careful, and uh, that, that usually serves you pretty well. The biggest thing that scares me in this game is the glitches, because sometimes uh, they can be a little bit brutal, and... Uh, they can cause some problems, so it's definitely something that uh, I'm not... Oh no! Oh no! Okay, stay here. How many... Oh no, that's, that's a hunting dog. Alright, we've got to go down this way then. This could be bad. There's nothing up there with them, right? No, everything's all down here. Yeah, it's, there's nothing up there. It's all down here. There's an eagle I can see flying there. And there was a hunting dog wandering the slopes, which means that somewhere down there... Okay, I'm going to call these guys to come a little closer. But somewhere down there, there's also hunters. Here's Rosie. Here's Ginger. Here's Autumn. Let's have them stay right here. I don't think either the eagle or the hunting dog have seen us yet. And you basically have to be in... Um, Oh, oh, that was a deer. I, Oh my goodness, that deer just ran up to us, kicked us, and then left. It's not attacking the cubs, is it? No, it's just running by. Are they chasing it? Guys, you might want to come a little closer. And I can't even see where the hunting dog went. This is like one of the worst places for it to actually have, uh, for this to have happened. So I can still see where the eagle is. The hunting dog... This is the eagle. The one that's really close is the eagle. The one that's farther away is the hunting dog. We just have to be really cautious. We also need some food. Okay, it's coming for us. Alright, we can attack it, and we should be able to take it down pretty easily. If we can get the hits, it'll come back. There we go. You have to hit it when it comes down, and then it'll go up, up again. Oh, it, or it gets stuck. Okay, that worked out. Okay, call everybody to come a little closer. We'll stop here. And I think we just need to keep moving. There's no way down from here, not straight down there, so I think those ones that are on the lower slope there, we're still safe from them, and it seems like there's only one, um, oh, who didn't get to eat? Everybody, keep following, keep following. <laughs> uh, I don't know who didn't, I think it was Autumn maybe who didn't, no, it was Rosie, okay. Uh, we'll keep, we keep them all following, but yeah, I think the, there should be no way for those predators to reach us right now. We just have to be really cautious because I think somewhere down here there's going to be hunters. So, oh boy. Those plants, they look kind of like spiders almost. But we definitely need to be cautious. Is that a bear? That is actually a bear. Okay. Let's stop here. We're going to drop our carcass. And we are going to... Oh, rival females again. We are going to take this guy down. He's... Oh, no. What? Why did I turn around like that? I don't know what was going on there. Okay, let's let's go back. We're still growling. I'm going to grab the carcass if I can find it. There we go. Call everybody to stay close. Those are just vultures for a second. I thought we had another eagle attacking. But somewhere around here... We have more hunting dogs, and I think we're... Oh, there's another eagle up ahead, too. I think we're starting to get close. Now, is that another path? There is, yeah. Okay, so, hey, we need to be cautious here. I say as I just sprint straight into danger, potentially. 
but we need to be careful that there's not going to be something that comes around that path and ambushes us. Okay, there's another deer up ahead. Everybody stay real close. I'm going to stop and let them eat because some of them are getting hungry. You guys want food? There we go. All right, well, let's keep moving. <laughs> uh, that is an eagle up ahead. There is a hunting dog somewhere around here. I know because we saw him, but he might have... Oh, that's the eagle. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. We can take it out. We can take it out. We've just got to keep attacking. There we go. That worked perfectly. <laughs> okay, where... There's one more predator up ahead. Is it... That's the hunting dog, I think. All right, I'm going to keep moving without any, um... Any food here? Okay, so it's running. No, it's a... It's a bear. Okay, but I hear the hunting dog somewhere else. They're down below, so I there must that must be where the hunters are. But these this is another one of the bears. So we'll take out the bear and then we will um then we'll go ahead. Alright, he should be up ahead. I see him there. Let's run forward. We're gonna get his attention. He's gonna come after us. And we can take him down. We just gotta be really cautious so that we don't... Oh, I didn't mean to call them right away. I was planning on calling them after, but I, I guess that worked out. So everybody stop, everybody eat. And I guess we're gonna we're gonna haul a bear carcass around with us, apparently. You guys are gonna eat, right? If we stop them here, will they? Uh-oh. Oh, that was just a deer. Are they gonna eat? No? Okay. Oh, some of them did. There we go. Let's keep moving. There is another predator up ahead. We just gotta keep careful. Look out. It could be a hunter. Any of these could be hunters at this point. I don't even know where that dog went. It might have run very far ahead. And where is... I think the killer male is in the river again. I don't know why we've had such problems with that, but we have such an incompetent killer male this time, it seems. He's not very good at doing his job. He doesn't make for a very good threat. So, apparently, he uh, just tends to get himself stranded quite a lot. Oh, boy. Alright, there's lots of something down there, and I'm willing to bet that that is Hunter's. So, we just kind of got to keep moving. I'm going to leave these guys near a carcass, and then run down to take a look. I don't want to get too close, but I also... That's a deer. I also don't want to be too far away. So, where are they relative? So, the, the, the enemies are all farther down. If it's hunters, we need to stop, and I'm gonna leave these guys here, I think. Is that... That's a deer, okay. So, I told them to stay there. Autumn, don't go down there. Okay, we've got... We've gotta... Okay. We've gotta go a little farther down, I think. Autumn is wandering right down here. There... Is that them? That's a hunter. So there's one hunter and two hunting dogs. Okay, Autumn, no. You need to stay up here. We need we need to get everybody closer here. One, two, three. Okay, we've got all four. We've got all three. Let's grab this. I'm going to bring it down. There was, That's the, like one of the first times I've seen crows, actually, I think. Or ravens, perhaps. But let's go down. I'm going to leave them on this area. And then run down even farther. So I think we can go down there. And I don't think there's any other enemies. So as long as we stay up here, we should be safe to just charge straight down. So let's leave this here. I'm going to leave my cubs here as well. One, two. Why are there only two? What happened to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, something bad happened. Why do we only have two? Why do we only have two? What's going on? Why are we missing a cub? Why are we missing a cub? Um, guys? Okay, Ginger! Oh my goodness, Ginger, do not scare me like that. Okay, we've got everybody back together. That freaked me out. I don't know how she got stuck back there, but we're alright. We just are a little bit more delayed and now in fighting these guys off. Oh my goodness, my heart. <laughs> I thought we had actually straight up lost a kitten there, and I was like, what is happening? So, I think we're okay. We just need to get back to that bear carcass. And then we should be able to uh, head down and fight those hunters. This is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to, but this journey usually does. It is at least becoming daytime, which will make it easier to see where we're going. So that is a big plus. But we need to keep moving so that we don't um, we don't end up uh, getting or we so that we don't end up taking too long. Okay, there's the hunter. 
I'm going to lead them down here. There shouldn't be anything dangerous off to the side. So we should just be able to head down here, get to the bear carcass, leave them here. I don't care about the deer. The deer can the deer can stay. That's fine. We've got all three cubs. I told them to stay. I'm going to run right down here. And we're going to take this guy out because he's right there. No, 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 no. Nope, we got to take him down, take him down, take him down. Okay, the dogs are coming to help him, which is good because then they're focused on us and not on, not, on, uh, not on our cubs. Okay. And I think that's pretty much everything. There's one more, there's one more something somewhere here. It's right by this tree that we need to mark, which is right over here. It is... I'm going to guess another dog... I don't see it anymore. Oh, it's an eagle. Okay. I think it's an eagle, at least. Uh, we're gonna mark this. And... Yeah, I think we're gonna be safe from the other predators. Because... Okay, we marked the tree. I think we're gonna be safe from the other predators because we're gonna be heading up and not down. So let's run back to where we left our cubs. We'll call them. And uh, they should be able to come right down to us. I think they'll come down this slope. I believe they will. Please tell me they know how to get down, right? Yeah, Rosie figured it out. Autumn figured it out. Ginger is still directionally challenged. Ginger, where are you going? Ginger! Ginger! Where have you gone? Okay. Ginger is still directionally challenged, but she'll be okay. We'll hunt this deer while we're here. Did they try and hunt the deer? It looks like maybe they did, because they seem, they seem hungry and she was damaged. But we'll bring this deer carcass with us, and uh, we'll actually head up. Uh, so he might, the killer male might not be in the river anymore either, but we're gonna make our way around and uh, try to cross over where we can. In fact, I think that bridge right, no, that's a different bridge. We're, we're gonna head over as fast as we can and, uh, <laughs> try to make it back to the den before the episode is up. It is getting a little bit close to that, but is he on land again? Oh, and there's something up ahead too. Oh no, there's predators. Oh, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. All right. I can't really leave these guys alone. Oh, the, the killer male is on land, too. So we need to take these guys out pronto. We can't risk this. We've got we've got to engage. We've got to, got to get into confrontation here. All right. Fight, 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 fight. Take this guy down. We got him. Where's another one? Okay, where's the killer male? Is he still behind us? He's a little ways behind us. Okay, we need to keep it moving. Because I don't, oh, I don't, I don't, I can't risk this. We've got, to, we've got to go back and face off against him before he sneaks up behind us. Because he's going to, he's going to come after us and uh, attack from behind while we're fighting those wolves. And I need to be able to leave these guys here. Oh, I see him. He's coming at a run. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to take this guy out. Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> You're scaring me quite badly right now. No, hey. Oh my goodness, he, he actually attacked them. Oh my gosh, okay. Come quickly, you guys. Stay stay close. Oh my goodness, he actually attacked them. I didn't I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but for a little bit there. Oh, who's who's ahead? Who's ahead? Okay, please, Ginger, Ginger, do not run towards the wolves. Oh my goodness. But yeah, he actually attacked them. I don't know if you saw that, but for a tiny bit they had actually taken some damage. So we need to be able to leave these guys here because we have a predator following that following us here. I don't know. It might be a fox, but I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to crouch and stalk toward it because if it's a fox, then we need to nip that in the bud and get rid of him before he causes us more problems. It is a fox. I see him. Who's wandering off, too? I see, um... I see that there is a cub wandering. Oh, here he goes. He's going for him, but we got him. Okay. So they're still okay. We need to run ahead and be able to take out these wolves. So I'm going to... Okay, we need to go up here first because there's some predator up here and I don't know what it is and it might be another fox. But it's going to come after us if we're not careful. It's going to come down and get them while we're gone. Okay, we got to get a little closer. Uh, right up ahead here and I think it probably is going to be another fox if I had to guess. Is it? Um, I can't tell what it is. It's a wolf. Okay, we're taking this guy out just straight away. So we don't we don't need to stalk around the wolves. We can kind of just run after them and go get them. 
Okay, where are they? They sound like they're really close to the Cubs, but they're actually not as close as I thought they were. Oh, here comes another. Here he comes. He's coming right for us. Okay, no, we're going to take this guy down. He may call hit the rest of his pack here, which would actually benefit us. Okay, we've got, we've got another one here. Let's take this guy out, and we've got one more who's going to come after us here. And we should be able now to safely bring our cubs down this way and we can actually bring one of the wolf carcasses to come with us here and to have food along the way so one two three is everybody coming properly i see one two three yep everybody's here nobody is stuck ginger is not lost again but uh, we're all right so we just have a little ways farther to get to the den i'm gonna try and cross that distance and uh, we should be fine as long as we keep moving i'm gonna eat from this carcass and we'll grab one of the other ones then to bring with us but yeah we we don't have that much farther left to go so we need to keep going these guys actually can keep up fairly well even if we run so we we can make so we can make some good headway here they they won't get left behind too much and we can actually move it quite fast here even if we do this little leapy thing let's let's stop and we'll let them uh, eat but that makes it significantly easier to avoid the killer male because we can keep moving faster than he's going to. He went all the way back off to the court or to the other side of the um, the region there, so he'll probably try and come back around the same way he came. But if we can keep moving this quickly, then we should be pretty safe to uh, continue on here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, that's that's a hare. Okay. I was like, what is happening? But, uh, oh, and there's a moose as well, so we need to be a little bit careful. I don't really want to get attacked by moose right now. We're just going to walk around him until we're safe. He's he's showing us his antlers. We're, we're going to just walk past him. We don't want to fight, uh, and I don't think he really does either. So let's keep going. I think as long as we can reach... Yet yeah, there's the bridge. I see it up ahead. These guys are all pretty safe. They're all right here. Ginger, thankfully, is staying close. Not wandering off. And that's another hare. We can keep going this way. We can cross the river. And then we should be pretty much at the den. So it's actually really... You, these guys can keep up quite well. No, I don't want to... I don't want to go that way. We have, we have to be out of targeting range. There we go. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What's going on? There's a fox. Okay, where did he come from? Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, that's why you have to be really careful, though, because even if you can move fast, the foxes are always pretty much going to be faster than you. So for as fast as you are, you have to keep in mind that they're going to cause you some problems if you get too far ahead of your babies. So that's a thing. <laughs> that's something to be very concerned about. Is the is he he's on the move again, but he's not uh, he's not going to reach us because we're already here. So let's get down here. We made it, and we are once again safe. So these guys should grow up pretty soon. I'm thinking probably the next episode or the episode after. But we're going to go ahead and end off here for today because it is about that time again. I don't know why there's a health bar at the bottom of my screen. I'm not sure what that's about. But we're, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.